Hey, what's going on everyone? It's Ted Carr here, and today we're going to be talking about the three mistakes that all new vegans make. First mistake is that a lot of vegans, they come onto this diet and they just simply think that being vegan is going to take care of everything. They think being vegan is going to take care of their shitty relationships, they think being vegan is going to take care of their career path, their, their financial income, they think being vegan is going to take care of their body image and the way that they see themselves in the mirror, they think being vegan is going to take care of their state of mind and, and their mood and the truth is there's a lot more to life than just diet, okay? Diet is one aspect of life and if your diet is screwed up then a lot of, area, pretty much every other area of life is going to be screwed up as well. Now there are a few exceptions to that for sure but for the most part, if your diet really sucks, every other area of your life really sucks. And if you can optimize your diet, make your diet amazing, then every other area of your life will improve as well to a degree. Now again, there are exceptions to that, but for the most part, it's very true. So when I first went vegan, I just wanted to scream from the rooftops and tell everyone about the diet. And I said, look, veganism is the way to go. You're not hurting animals, you're not, you're not hurting the environment, you're not hurting your body, yada, yada, yada. And I just was so angry and frustrated when I was trying to convince other people to be vegan and I would say, you know, like, how can you eat that? How can you justify eating that dead animal? Like, you're, you're so blind to it, blah, blah, blah. And I just got pretty angry about that. And I realized that that was, that was my issue, being upset with other people not being vegan. That wasn't other people's issue because just a few months prior, I wasn't vegan either, right? And, and yet I thought, wow, veganism is fixing everything, and, and yet I'm still feeling really emotionally angry and upset about other people not being vegan. So that was an issue right there. And then as I progressed in the diet, I became more and more raw, and I got to a point where I was just focusing so much on my diet, so much on, on how to optimize the raw food diet, that again, I thought that would take care of everything, because for the most part it did. It totally cleared up my skin from acne. My acne was horrible, even on a vegan diet. As soon as I went raw vegan, like fruitarian raw, my acne cleared up like that. So I thought, you know, everything was gonna be perfect. And so I kinda neglected a lot of my high school friends, and as Jay Shetty would say, he says, you know, you don't lose friends, you just realize who your new friends are. But I definitely isolated myself a lot. I wouldn't go out and, I wouldn't do many things, I wouldn't go to any social functions, I'd just stay home and eat my apples, you know, just kind of hermit myself. And that, I think, is an issue. I think humans are very social creatures, it's very beneficial to be, to be out and amongst other people. Even if you're an introvert, it's beneficial to spend time with other humans. And so, an, 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 another aspect that I totally neglected was my oral hygiene. I thought, you know, because I'm eating a fruitarian diet, it's very natural, I don't need to brush my teeth, I don't need to floss. And so I'd go weeks without brushing my teeth. And I'd go months and months without ever flossing. And then I'd go to the dentist and I'd, lo and behold, I'd have some cavities. And they'd say, yo, you need to brush, you need to floss. And, I, and I'd, I'd ignore them. I'd say, no, it's okay. Like, I'd just, you know, it's just detox, whatever. I, again, I thought diet was taking care of everything. I thought, how could you get cavities on a fruit diet? Well, the truth is you can get cavities on any diet. If you're not brushing your teeth, if you're not cleaning your teeth multiple times a day, if you're not flossing multiple times a day, there's a good chance you're going to get some cavities, no matter what diet you're eating. And so... Again, I would ignore the dentist and I'd go back many months later, maybe a year or two later, and lo and behold, I have more cavities. I'd be like, what? Damn, I gotta take care of this. So I talked to my, my dentist friend Joe, and he said, yeah, man, if your teeth aren't clean, if you're not cleaning them at least a couple times a day, if you're not flossing at least a couple times a day, you're probably gonna get some cavities. And I was like, I guess that kind of makes sense. You know, if you leave some stuff in your teeth, they're gonna, they're gonna get eroded. And so um, now, ever since then, I've taken care of my teeth. And that's just another area of life that the Really, like, just because your diet is awesome doesn't mean your oral hygiene is awesome. It doesn't mean that your, your fitness is awesome. You know, it doesn't mean that your relationships are awesome. So it's really good when you become vegan to also realize that, hey, if you're going to optimize your diet, you might as well spend the extra 5 or 10% of your energy, of your focus on other areas of life to see if you can optimize everything. It feels really good to be balanced in life. It feels really good to know that... You know, you are creatively expressing yourself from time to time. You are taking care of your oral hygiene. You are having amazing relationships with others. You are going to the gym and getting in some fitness. You are making sure you're getting to bed at an early time. You are making sure that you have income coming in. You are making sure that you're, you're living your passion, you're living your purpose. Rather than just knowing that your diet is optimized and you're eating a vegan or raw vegan diet. Alright, so that's the first mistake I see a lot of vegan, new vegans make.